Hello viewers, how are you and welcome to the welcome to my channel Crack Forest and today I'll be showing you how to how to open PDF files on your on Android Wear uh, and I'm using an LG G Watch R is over here it has a circle display and an AMOLED a POLED screen sorry for that and uh, yeah, this is the LG G Watch R and the worst thing about this watch is uh, this thing cost 300 dollars $300 and then what happened is like the LG had advertised for this Wi-Fi support for this watch but finally they couldn't give it in the latest channel update because they forgot to <laughs> they forgot to add the Wi-Fi antenna to this watch ok I'm into the issue on hand I'll be installing and Adobe Reader on this thing on this watch to open the PDF files and I'll be showing you how to open the files which uh, and how to upload the files and all that um, for that you need to use a use any of any system such as windows or macintosh so let us go to that part yeah on your computer you need to download these files and this is a sample pdf which i'll be uploading to my android where i'll be opening it and i'll be showing it i'll be showing you this thing this pdf and okay the keep it aside and now these are the files these are the two apk's which you'll be installing one is the es explorer which is a popular file explorer for the android and this is the Adobe Reader, an application to open the PDF files. So, in order to in, in order to install these applications, uh, there is a program which has been developed by the developers from XDF Forum. Uh, this is the Android Wear APK tools. I'll be posting you the links for this thing in the description below. I'm repeating that. Yes, it is on. Okay, then extract this. Extract this zip file. I'll just open the zip file and then you'll be finding another folder open that and this is the file which contains the windows version yeah in that now extract this file again i'll be extracting it on the desktop so this using this application you'll be i uh, you can actually install apk files on your android where directly without using the adb command it's, it's much more easier to install and uninstall i'll be showing you how to do that and in order to upload the files such as this uh, PDF sample, you need to use adb push command. Yeah, there's no like when you connect to Android, Android way to your system, it will not be shown as a drive. So, in order to upload any PDF files or any pictures or music on your Android, you need to you need to like you need to use adb adb uh, adb and fastboot command. So. In order to use ADB and fastboot commands, you need to install the ADB and fastboot files in your system. And this is the ADB setup which I'll be using to install it system as a system wide command. So open this thing and install that. Yeah. And then click yes. And then it'll be asking you whether you want to install the ADB system wide. Yeah, you want like I. It's it's better if you install it as system wide command. And then click yes. It'll be installing it. If you want, you can install the drivers over here. If if your Android Wear doesn't get connected, then you can actually what reinstall it. I had already installed it previously, so I'll be clicking and over here, and then yeah, all done. Now, uh, in order to uh, in order to connect your in order to access your Android Android Wear on your on your system, you need to what enable developer options and uh, ADB ADB more on your on Android where to do that I'll be showing you how it's done okay this this is it with the system I'll be continuing the system process once I'm once I'm done with showing you how to enable the developer options on your Android where yeah. on your Android where you need to go to the settings which is over here they do that tap on that and you'll be getting the menu yeah it's too bright light yes. sorry for that yeah, it takes time for that to adjust yeah. go to settings go to settings and then you need to go to the about option which is over here click on that and then there's something called build number tap eight times on that to enable the developer options so yeah, yeah you're a developer now now you'll be getting an extra option called developer options over here go to that and enable that and then in that you need to enable the android debugging which is disabled sorry yeah you need to enable android debugging yeah it'll ask you whether you want to enable it 
click on the tick symbol over there and then you, are, you have actually enabled the debugging mode so now you can access your android ways ADB, like you can access the adb shell from from your system so now let's continue the process on the system now uh, you had enabled the android ways this thing adb settings but in order to authorize that you need to connect your, connect your watch to the system and then to authorize that you're getting an option on the phone which is like which is connected to the android where you know let's continue with the process in the, on the system in order to access the android where on your system you need to connect it to the usb i'm doing that i forgot to mention that earlier connect it like if you're having the lg watch you need to connect it to the dock and then connect the usb to your system so let us continue the process on your system Okay, now let's open the command prompt and check whether the uh, Android Wear is connected to your system or not. To do that, click on the shift button and then uh, these are the files which are on the desktop. So in order to open the command prompt over here, you need to click shift and then right click on your mouse. Shift on the keyboard and then right click on your mouse. Then you'll be getting an extra option called uh, open command command here. You need to click that and then once you are there, see, uh, it'll be showing you the address of your desktop which is c users and my username on the desktop now click on this command which is adb space devices let me start yeah. Yeah, once you're done the, as you can see it's only showing that it's unauthorized to uh, authorize the android where in, you, like you need to connect your phone to the android by via bluetooth and then over there it will be showing you it will be prompting you for the permission for the security like to actually what allow allow the ab for uh, for uh, for allowing the adab access to your watch so to do that now i'll be showing you on the phone what should what should be done on the phone yeah as you can see now my phones uh, my android wear is connected to my phone via bluetooth to check the wire is connected, let's go to the application which is over here. And right it is connected to the G Watch R which is over here. And now let's see whether you're getting the prompt or not. Once you cannot your Android way to your uh, system, you'll be getting an option like this. The Android way debugging will be asking you the permission to. Yeah, you can actually tick this hello, all, uh, hello, always hello from this computer and then click OK. And once that's done, you have given the permission for your Android way to connect your system for your IADB and then click on that OK thing yeah. now let's check whether the authorization is done properly or not to do that again click the ADB devices command on your system yeah. as you can see it's showing the device thing and it's, it is authorized as of now now let us install these apps which is like ES Explorer and the Adobe Reader which are over here and I'll be posting you the link for this download for this application download APK download or you can download it from yours from from the websites or from your device uh, anything which is easy for you okay now you need to open this application which is over here this these things like made everything like this application makes it very easy for you people to actually install the APKs on your Android Wear so open that Android Wear APK tools thing yeah Click on the connect to watch ADB. I will show you whether the as you had done the, all the authorizations, it will be connected to your phone directly. Now click on the install APK which is over here, and then select the APK files which are on the desktop, which are ES Explorer, and then install one by one. Install that. Yeah, click OK. Yeah, it's taking a while, it'll take like 2 10 to 15 seconds. Now install the second app, the Adobe Reader. Now click OK.
Yeah, once you're done with the installation of the two apps which is ES Explorer and the head of reader now you need to upload the PDF files you want to open it on your system it can be a PDF file or any of the music file or it can be a video file also it's according to that so in order to upload the PDF file I'll be using the ADV push command to, uh, and this is the command so the PDF file should be at the same destination of, of this thing C users otherwise you need to change the destination file using the change directory command and all that uh, yeah. now let us use the adb push command now adb push yeah, name of the file which is sample.pdf dot pdf and that's the, uh, that's the file which you are sending and now you have to enter the destination file destination address so the destination address on the device is slash sd card slash yeah click enter yeah the whole thing is sent to your android way now let us see how to open the idea like pdf file on your android way on your yeah, on my lgg watcher yeah everything's done now let us open the uh, open the pdf file which you have just copied on your android way to do that go to the menu go to menu yeah, and then click the start thing which is over here and then open the ES Explorer which is over here and then browse the file which you had copied and this is the sample.pdf which I had copied you need to scroll up and down to find the file which you had copied so click on the sample.pdf file and then click on the data of reader thing yeah, this is the pdf sample pdf which I had copied from my system yeah, you can actually copy all the pictures and everything and everything on your where and yeah this is how you open <laughs> and PDF file on your Android where if you're doing it for the first time it's kind of hefty but you once you're used to that it's, it's very easy like I had elaborated everything so that it'll be easier for the uh, for the first time users and everyone so if you like the video please click on the thumbs up and if you want any of my future videos update on your youtube wall please do subscribe and this is Wamsi signing off thank you people bye